it's time to go. It's been six months in the making, but it's finally time to go on our trip. Well, the first part of the trip is just gonna be me, myself, and I, so I better get used to some alone time. You don't think you overpacked? Mm -mm. You think you didn't pack enough? Yeah, I'll probably find some stuff while you're gone that I was like, damn, I was supposed to pack that up. The truck is literally filled to the brim. I had to play a serious game of Tetris to fit everything. Why are you in the car? I have to go get your mom's car. Mm, because she refuses to drive my car. My perfectly good car. That won't make it to Columbus. What? Mm. I'm not doing that thing on the freeway. <laughs> That's like a around town vehicle. <laughs> you wouldn't drive that thing to cross the street. somewhere in Illinois, I think. Stopped to get gas and I saw the most amazing sign. In fact, here, let me just show you. $1,500 reward for a cat. $1,500 for a cat. I don't know if I would, I didn't even spend that much money fixing my car for a cat. Not even for a new cat, just a lost cat. I mean, I mean, I guess it is their baby. His name's Jackson. Fifteen hundred dollars. I, I should get into the uh, the cat finding business because apparently there's a lot more money in it than whatever I'm doing. I went in to see if there were any good snacks, but then I realized I don't actually like gas station snacks. Like I don't like the sweet stuff, and a lot of the non-sweet stuff I can't even eat anyways because of allergies and when I walked in no one's wearing a mask which I mean COVID's not over but everyone's got a lot of people have their vaccinations I have my vaccinations I don't have to wear a mask I just I like wearing a mask and so I, I wore one in there but I was definitely I was the only one even the people working there weren't wearing one which again it's not a big deal and it's not even the COVID thing I just I think wearing a mask is nice. Like, you get sick less, and it's and I, I don't have to smile as much. <sighs> I don't know. Back to the road, I guess. I am somewhere in the middle of Missouri. I don't actually need gas. I just needed to get out of the car. Now I'm sure Missouri is an absolutely wonderful place full of wonderful people, but apparently you don't know how to drive here. Now let me reiterate, this is a great place full of wonderful people and just a, a, a really strange place. It's just, oh, I mean, this close to multiple car accidents because people, I don't know what it is about the state of Missouri, but, um. They're not the best drivers. However, if I can defend this weird, strange state for at least a moment, I was driving down the highway, as one does when they're going places, and I saw this billboard. And on this billboard, it was this store, general store thing. And I said, boots? Okay, that makes sense. Bullets? Okay, I guess we're in Missouri. I guess you could get your boots and your bullets at the same place. That's the third thing that really gave me the, it, it, it really sold the whole thing. It was baloney. Now to reiterate, that's boots, bullets, baloney. Why a store would ever sell those three specific things and then feel they need to sell, like tell the world that those are the things that they sell? I, I'm just wondering like who goes into a shopping and goes, you know what I need? I need boots, I need bullets, and I need baloney. I just, who is this store for? to my Airbnb here in Kansas City, Kansas. You're looking at the whole thing. It's just a top studio apartment. It's pretty nice. There's no like kitchen or anything, but I don't really need it. So I don't know. I mean, I like it. I think Emily wouldn't like it as much because it is above people. And like, I think the neighborhood's safe, but it's not like a wealthy neighborhood, which Airbnbs never are, which is probably like 
problem with gentrification, but it's a nice place. I'm gonna be honest, I have not left the Airbnb since I got here, which is probably not a good way to travel. I should at least explore the city a little bit. So I'm gonna go get some barbecue with, well, just myself and hopefully it'll be good. So because I was on the phone with Andrew so long, not a lot is open now. So I went to this place called Pollo. It's a Mexican barbecue restaurant. I got the ribs, which came with tortillas for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I hope it's good. So the uh, food, it was uh, it was not very good. I, I didn't even eat all of it. I'll save some of it for tomorrow, I guess. If I'm hungry enough, I'd rather eat that than nothing, but it was not worth it. You know, I thought since I was going to be on here on my own for the next couple days, I would be super productive with the film and the vlog and just everything. But the moment I got here, I just don't want to do anything. Like, I'm, I'm trying to work on yesterday's vlog and... Yeah. So... I don't know.